My generation has left a mess of the world, and it's up to you all to fix it, said my biology teacher to my class repeatedly. And I believed him. I had to. On the news, I would consistently see records being shattered left and right, the deadliest weather disasters, the warmest year in tens of thousands of years, the highest levels of CO2 in millions of years, the rapid rate of extinction. Enraged by the lack of action, while simultaneously inspired by my teacher and Greta Thunberg, I knew I wanted to be a part of the movement to solve the growing problem of climate change. Thus began my research on renewable energy. Ever since 2015, solar has made huge progress, slowly becoming economically competitive with fossil fuels. So I wanted to hone in on this promising alternative of solar known as third generation solar cells. In comparison to first generation silicon solar cells and second generation thin film solar cells, third generation solar cells minimize costs and maximize efficiency. In particular, I focus on third generation perovskite solar cells, also known as PSCs. First introduced in 2009, its efficiency has skyrocketed. Its unprecedented improvements are due to its amazing properties such as tunability. However, PSCs still unfortunately face one main limitation of instability within the perovskite layer and thus susceptibility to moisture, heat, and light. The source of this instability comes from the formation of grain boundaries during conventional fabrication processes. These grain boundaries prohibit electron movement and limit PSC lifespan. Thus, for my research, I directly address this issue of instability by using a hot casting technique. First, I found an ideal concentration to even use this hot casting technique. Second, I compared the hot casting method to conventional methods in terms of grain size, stability, and efficiency. For my results, I found that at 1.2 molar concentration, hot casting created the ideal environment to promote crystal grain growth and form the perovskite phase. When comparing the two methods, hot casting increased the grain size by a factor of 60 from the nanoscale to the micron scale. Additionally, hot casting increased the power conversion efficiency by 38%, largely due to the robust growth that minimizes the density of grain boundaries. Also, hot casting was a simpler and cheaper fabrication process when compared to conventional methods. Overall, by directly addressing the issue of instability and grain boundaries in PSCs, my research promotes the field of third generation PSCs and also photovoltaics. And ultimately, these advancements in renewable energy are crucial to address the growing problem of climate change and mitigate irreversible consequences.